Hello everybody and welcome back to Age of Empires 2! I am Rufol, playing this game for you! Woo! Last time we have, we brought down the Tlox Collins. Now we need to deal with the Spanish. Either capturing their horses or just flattening them. One of these is a lot easier than the other. <laughs> Capture 20 of the horses! There are 26 horses on the map, so uh... That should give an insight to the complexity of that particular task. I don't know if you to uh, do that and now give that turkey what it's had coming. Also, while I'm here. <laughs> Let's see here. What is going to help us in our endeavors? I'll get back to farming then if you're not gonna butcher the turkey. And fighting the Spanish, uh, they do have the occasional, uh, the occasional footman. Or, uh, two-handed swordsman, which these guys will be incredibly handy for dealing with. But uh, most of their most of their troops are cavalry. Which uh well Jaguar Warrior is capable. It's not necessarily that capable. Still, why don't you guys just kind of chill here for a bit. Keep yourselves out of trouble. Send you idols back to work. here and secure that gold. Don't really need the stone at the moment. Ah, the trebuchets are having a ball. major unit that, that we're going to want to make use of is in fact going to be the Eagle Warrior. And these trebuchets. You guys come over this way. Because for dealing with the Calv... Dealing with the cavalry, well, we can rely on the Spearman line. I mean, because they're really good at ripping down cavalry. But, uh, well, most of the cavalry we'll be dealing with are not so much knights as they are conquistadors, and... Yeah, it's not dumb, unfortunately. So they'll play keep away with us. So we need the Eagle Warriors to, uh actually run up and give things the business. Hey you! Guess what? Aha! Oh. 
Round two. Pummel. Yeah, suffice to say, these Elite Eagle Warriors are pretty good at uh, coping with uh, Pretty good at coping with with the uh Pretty good at coping with with the conquistadors. Castles should defend should be able to Seriously? Oh, talks calling nonsense. Come up here and actually explore a bit. Is there actually a path over there? Well then. Alright then. Some good scouting, boy. You guys come down this way. You guys come along and uh, it's about beating things up. Oh, my eagles! Wow, thanks for the scouting over there, buddy. Quick, let's see if they'll let us in. Nobody here those chickens. We're just a birdie too. I don't think they're buying it. Can't imagine why. You guys hop into the castle for a bit. Why are you so inept? You guys go get me more money. things out of lack of thing to do. Let's have you guys swing over this way. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you want some? Dirk. These two-handed swordsmen are probably the greatest threat to my eagle warriors. After all, they kind of live to squash to squash uh, siege engines. Just wander past the Spanish. for horses Get him now! Q4 to come up here and pummel that wall. I'm sorry, but the but the conquistador is not the wall. I know this is difficult for you guys to process, but there's a wall that needs pummeled. Run away, horsies! No! Siege ram! Battering rams! What will our warriors do? Oh, wait. Oh, you are shooting at the horses. How rude of you. things considered, that was a highly successful raid. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Yay! Brings us up to 15 horses. Ah, you guys finally arrived. Excellent. Get you guys to go park it there for a bit. Take a we have take a rest. Ten Spanish horses. We are halfway to our goal.
have more horses. Actually, we need five, so this pen alone would, would suffice, but if we get this pen as well, then, well, that'll be all the horses on the map. Secure the demise of the Sp of the Spanish. See the uh, use the jaguars against uh, against their their people. They just play a game of keep away. Go the horses. And now that we have all of the Spanish horses, they will be unable to send their deadly knights and conquistadors into battle. Take that, Spanish! We have defeated the Tlaxcalans and slowed the Spanish advance. But I fear the final confrontation is yet to come. Hooray! That quarters. Oh yeah, we capture. We captured. Well, we were required to capture twenty of the twenty-six horses that were on the map. Uh, we gathered all twenty-six of them. <laughs> so, to see the results of our warfare. Although the Aztec warriors fought well that day, my men were frightened by the beast that the Spanish rode into combat and by the noise of their exploding weapons. Although we had survived the attack, I thought it best to withdraw towards Tenochtitlan and share with the Emperor Montezuma all that we had learned. I do not know if my uncle, Montezuma, was being cowardly or merely trying to preserve us from the wrath of the gods, but he sent more gifts to Cortes along with an invitation to visit our great city as his personal guest. I was there when Montezuma met Cortes on one of the causeways leading into our great city. The Spanish had evidently never seen anything like Tenochtitlan, and they stared in wonder at the brightly colored markets and pyramids rising out of a man-made island in the middle of gigantic Lake Texcoco. Some of the Spanish soldiers asked whether it was all a dream. The first glimpse of things never heard, seen, or dreamed before. Montezuma led Cortes at the top of the Great Pyramid, where he pointed out the various canals and neighborhoods of the city. But Cortes was mostly interested in gold ornaments and helped himself to any which he encountered. I was no longer convinced that this man was Quetzalcoatl. So says Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior. Tenochtitlan. 
Well, hopefully Kotemak will be able will be able to convince Montezuma of such things. I can't blame blame the Aztec warriors. Those beasts and exploding weapons are pretty scary. But so it goes. Next time, well, we shall see about uh, how the Aztecs will continue to fight the Spanish, or even if they will continue to fight them. <laughs> but that is the tale for next time. We'll see you then. Later.